Alright everybody, welcome to episode 32 of the Roundup League Decider yesterday. It's finished. We have a new champion in the Premier League. We've got a West team, absolutely scudding teams in the Cup Winners Cup Shield Trophy and, thing. And our to- and total cup, and mate. And total, aye. Yeah, the first well done, total, mate. Aye, so uh, I'm just going to apologise to everybody because I was away with the good lady wife yesterday. I'm hanging like a bag of shit and I have basically seen nothing of anything. But let's get to You're allowed that, mate. You're allowed that, mate. You need to spend some time with a good lady's story we can just keep getting the past yeah. to do this, mate. I know, man. Honestly, just best night I've had in ages. Minging. Absolutely minging. Oh, wait, mate. Oh. Um, so we'll start with the Inter-Total Cup then. Next deal, Wanderers 1, Drumchapel 13. 2-1 at half time. I don't know how you lose 11 goals in the second half. Mate, I don't know what's happened, mate. What has what, what what is, what is happened, mate? I don't know. Uh, honestly, I don't know how that happens. I mean... Did the drum, did the drum bring on uh, Daz McKinnon hoping that? Did he bring him <laughs> on? Bring <laughs> 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 a big gun zone. Hoping running about with fags behind his ears and all that. Ah, mate. Yeah, that's, that, that's that impressive hope he could have brought his cell phone with that big arse for the last 10 minutes. Mate. 13-1, 11 goals and seven oh, But well done to the drum. They've done really well. That's him, that's him in a senior Scottish as well, the big Scottish, so well done. That's uh, a good season for them. Brilliant I mean, season. The league, but it's been a very good season. Brilliant season for everybody connected with club and management, the players. Just missed out on the league tight one all, but for them, for the atmosphere and for the feel-good factor to finish with the two cup wins and progression into the big Scottish is amazing gives them so much to look forward to it's amazing for Drumchapel the community mate because they're going to be in the big Scottish Cup and that's that's brilliant for the community and all the young kids and all that as well even though they might not get to play the game in Drumchapel Um, brilliant for the club mate makes it all worthwhile all the work and the hard work that they've put in player wise player wise class not mean it gives them something to look forward to Management have done tremendously well. They've put two trophies in the cabinet. They've represented the West boys and they've absolutely smashed it out of the park. So many congrats to the mighty drum, mate. Aye, mate. Really well done to them. Like you say, that's a double of one for the West, showing that our teams are good. I mean, we're looking at what Talbot have got to play Bonnie Rig in the final of the South Cup, which I think it's massive. Um, particularly after Bonnie like absolutely battered Kevin BTS, doesn't it? I know, mate. Um, and then we've got... Nah, it, was just, it was just a good show for him. A really good one. Brilliant, mate. And, and congrats to Hope, JB and, and Daz and Willie and all that. And all the, all, all the guys in the back, in the back room staff. All, all the guys in the committee and all. You know what I mean? We've done... It's probably the third best thing that's happened to the drum machine, mate. Behind the live night, mate. Mate, definitely. I'm sorry. I, What's up with you? I, mate, I don't know. Is that a spider or something? No, Anna. I don't know what you're doing. Hurry up. <laughs> go, go and sit down. Literally, it's either the it's last so hour. Glamorous. For the last hour, she has done nothing but sit on the couch and watch a film. And then as soon as I put this on, she's running about opening things beside me, banging into the table and all that. Listen, bring Anna on because she probably talked more sense than you oh, off the time anyway, mate. Yeah, you know what Definitely can't talk about it. That's when I bring my arm on. She's, she's, she's better than me, mate. Oh. So. <laughs> right. Kelly Pie Cup. Kelly O'Neill, Clyde Bank 3. <clears throat> the Rock 1, Hurlford 2. Clyde Bank have been a good bit of form recently. Um, expected to win. Thornley would an army. Oh, Thornley, I'm sorry, I missed that one. Thornley would beat the Benz on penalties. Was it two, two each and then two each, nine, eight in penalties? Can't miss out for Thornley would because no, John mate. and all that. Sned and that will come, come for me on on Twitter again so I didn't mention him on a tweet no, I mean I'm fed up praising that, that oh, club to be honest with you we can't keep praising him every single week and he wants to monitor you no, I keep getting good results keep getting good results that was um, I actually took that game as a draw in my did you? Uh-huh. I had uh, I had that game as a draw I had Pollock as a draw I had who else did I have I think I had Talbot and Glen Afton as a draw as well. Just a just a daft cup. No, that wasn't it. far away either. That was the last couple of minutes too. But I I far well, away for that. I know. Um, well done to Clyde Bank. Um, the Rock. That's unlucky for them against uh, Harrowford. 2-1. Against a good side. It's just a shame that the, the Rock season's finished now. But um, mm-hmm. no, that was a good effort for them yesterday. 
Aye, firstly, Clyde Banks, tough place to go to Kelo, being there this season, it's a bit of a trek and that, and Tony's, Tony's doing a good good job down there, so they've been doing professional job, went down 3-0, kept a clean sheet, job done, next round of the cup, it's exactly what you're after. Um, the Rock, me, I think, I think we need to touch a bit on the Rock, because they've been, they've not won the game, they've went 1-0 up, they've lost the game 2-1, uh, I think Scrub scored the winner, top player, man, Scrub, brilliant uh. Yeah, he, he scored the winner and they've, they've not won a game but that's their last game of the season and Andy's announced that he's he's basically with a tweet I'm reading between the lines he's looking as if he's going to move on for the club mate do you know what I mean that, that's me just reading between the lines I know mate I know I was... he's knowing the running for the manager's job and the club have put out looking for potential new managers and he's he's talking about a new challenge he sells so if he steps away from the rock, mate, that's going to be a massive loss to him because what that guy's done on the park and after the park's been nothing short of magnificent. Um, he's built, he's helped build the club up, put a lot of time, a lot of effort in. Uh, great guy, mate. Top, top guy. Fortunate enough when he first got the job, mate, I was still at the club at the time. Probably the best thing he'd done was getting rid of me, you know what I mean? Um, it, was all, it only went up the way after that. How he's built it, mate, it's a completely different club. Uh, better for what we played in, do you know what I mean? I mean that's the thing, you obviously know better than me, but at my time playing the rock really they won the great, they didn't they won the well supported. Aye. And then you look at I'm not saying it's just Andy. Um there's a lot of people who've worked really hard oh, the scenes at, at the rock. But Andy's been probably the the main driving force for a lot of the good that's come. I mean, I was talking to somebody last week about Andy. Um, and he was just like, ah, oh, Andy's brilliant. Like, dealt, I, I, he dealt with him in business, and he's like, oh, he's brilliant, man. He's just mentally like, everything changes all the time, but he's always gone and always trying to push him to be better. And you can uh, see, you see how impressive I is doing at the rock now. You know what I mean? You see, you see, we, you see, we Andy. You know, listen, mate. I, I, I'm, not, I'm going to throw a spanner in the works. There's been a wee job just came, just came out tonight that he might have a look at and think to himself he fancies it. By the way, and that's me just. Well, that's just me speaking out, speaking out loud. Uh, that's but, the thing. That's that, see, that is that is a localist job for him as well. Yes. See, see, what Andy, right? What Andy's done is, is Andy. Anytime you speak to him, you give him praise. He never accepts it because he always talks about everybody else that's done the hard work and the graft as well. He never, he never wants to date for self praise. He's done it for the community. He's done it for the club. He's never done it for himself. So. This time he deserves the, the praise and the credit. And don't get me wrong as well, do you know what I mean? A lot of the a lot of the amazing work that's happened this year, but a lot of it was down to Paul Kelly as well, uh, do you know what I mean? Um, but for Andy to take 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 what take charge after obviously that, that happening, that, that tragic with Paul, it's it's he's, he's done really well, man. He's the, the club have rallied really well. And Kevin and all Kevin Kelly deserves a uh, massive amount of praise and credit as well man to to be there and be there with the boys and, and to finish what he started man it's unbelievable and and, and, and he's that will be oh, really really proud but that'll be a blow to the rock and listen I wish them all the best you know what of the club they've got they've, they've, they've got up there with the best fans at, at the level mate and there is bigger club bigger club and as well supported as a club as well is is the, the top teams mate the, the Prem they're, they're, they're top they're a top club mate and, and, and they will go places so I just want to wish Andy Aye, and, definitely. And, and, and St Rocks as well all the best because it will be difficult as well for him to appoint a new manager because they were looking to build a lot of brilliant things under Paul's leadership and, and unfortunately that wasn't able to happen but they're, got, they're going to look probably for a new manager and, and and it's and it's and I wish I wish them all the very best. I don't know what will happen with Kevin as well. I think he's me honestly I admire I admire his fucking his strength, mate, and his courage. So best of luck to them all in there, mate. Definitely. Well, the quarterfinals <coughs> for the Kerry Pie Cup is now Hurlford and Arthurley. The winner of that will play Good the tie. Win- aye, the winner of that will play the winner of Pollock and Clyde Bank. Another cracking tie. On the other side of the draw, you've got Thornley Wood against Cowinning, and the winner of that will play the winner of Darvo and Cambus Lang. I think that um, I think Thornley Wood will push um, will push Cowinning. Really, I think, I think Thornley. I think Thornley Wood are, are playing well enough, and they've beat 
they've beat teams in the, the Prem that season, beat the Benz, they've beat they've beat uh, Cumbernauld this season, they've they've went to Dun- I think they went to Dundee and beat a good I think it may have been Dundee and off end or some somebody decent or was it I don't know what was the other Carnoustie or something. They've beat somebody one of the big clubs up there and they've had a tremendous season in the conference as well. So I think they've gone as underdogs but they'll fancy their chances. But one of them has shown that they've got a bit they've got a bit about them now because with the with the league title one, they've, they've pushed they've pushed off all the way, mate. So and they'll be looking at that as a chance to for them to get silverware. Um, for Gorms coming in. I know. The thing is, this is this is our flagship. They're all good ties, mate. Aye, yeah, mate definitely. All very, very good games, mate. This is our flagship um, competition for the West as well. Cup competition, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's it is the big one for us. You're just looking at a, a potential. I mean, I, I think based on form, I, w- I would have Clydebank to beat um, Pollock and I would probably have Hurlford maybe to pip Arthur, right? But you're looking at the potential of an Arthur Pollock semi final, which would be massive. That would be huge, man, because two big, big clubs, big rivalry, the um, biggest one probably out of our way. Um, and then potentially a, a repeat. Of, well, you've got the Canvas Lang and Davo game and Canvas Lang. That would be a different game for when um, the last met and it was like 5 another 5 1 to, to Davo. Mm-hmm. I think Canvas Lang will be looking for a wee bit of revenge after that. Yeah. Cup games may end can happen, so I think I think it's be very difficult to pick winners and all the ties, mate. They could they could go they could go either way, mate. So we'll just need to wait and see what happens in the game, oh, mate. Dude. Right, let's get on to the league action. So we are having the Premier League Cumberland one, Pollock two, League Champions Darvo three, Co one and two, Galan Afton nil, Talbot one, Glencairn one, Rob Roy two, Trun one. Meda too. So I think it's only right that we start with uh, the league champions, the first ever um, winners of the West of Scotland Premier League, Darvo. I've said it a few times now. I wrote them off months ago when they had that wee sticky spell. Then they had all the games and we both were saying they're a good side, but it might be too much having that many games in that short period of time. They've come through almost completely unscathed. Unbelievable run of form. Mm-hmm. That's just unbelievable for them. I I think that firstly, many congrats yep. um, to everybody connected with the club, the community, and all that. It's a great day for them, and seeing all the tweets and the celebrations and that's. I said, me stuff that you watch and you go, you're envious because you want it to be you. Do you know what I mean? You want you want it to be you doing with the players or doing, but you also like to see people achieve something and, and and enjoying themselves and they're all looking as if they're having a great time. So well done to Darvo. I loads of people wrote them off. I was always quite I always thought personally that the quality, I know the quality and, and you know the quality of the players that Mix signed and what he's got at his disposal. And if he get if he could get them fit and firing, they were always going to be capable of putting runs together and that that's what I always maintained. But for them to do it, to do it, deal with the tough schedule, deal with the injuries, deal with the wee setbacks, and just keep plodding it out, grinding the results out. Really, really an amazing achievement. And I think that it's been a team effort. Every single player's had to play their part. Guys that are injured and maybe missed the games towards the end, they've done their part. And then backroom staff, physios not getting guys fit for games to win a league and to deal with that amount of games. And how demanding that is on the legs takes takes that effort for everybody, and that's a team effort down there. And well done to Mick and all the boys, and I think that they've done they've done excellent. And they look as if they're enjoying a good a good day or two, and and quite rightly so because. Well, I wonder who's on the karaoke right now at the horseshoe bar for them. Uh, mate, we'll see. Uh, we'll see that later on 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 the, on the social media, mate. But listen, that's they've had they boys have had to probably sacrifice quite a lot here the last few few couple of months because they're playing things like Easter Monday, right, against the Talbot when there's old firm games not the day before. There's been quite a few old firms on the Sunday and that. These boys are having to probably behave themselves, sacrifice quite a lot, look after their bodies, maybe not go out as much as what they normally would do or whatever, to try and achieve this, mate. So 
the boys deserve to go and enjoy themselves and have a party because they've probably had to sacrifice. They've had to sacrifice a lot, mate, because they've been out playing three games a week now for a few weeks and 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 quite rightly so they can let their hair down and go and enjoy themselves, mate. Everybody connected to the club. It's very well deserved for them. Um, in the playoff, we'll uh, we'll be back in the more away. Um, they'll be representing the West. They're looking like Trenent or Pennycook for the East and yeah. uh, St Cuthbert's for the South. So Pennycook were beaten after a Talbot earlier in the year at a pre-season friendly, which obviously doesn't really mean a great deal. But I would fancy Darvo if if Darvo turn up. And the, the the round robin types of if they turn up they will win. But, I really hope I really hope they do it, mate. Oh, I, mate really, I, know. I, I hope know. that they do it because we always want to see the West teams do well and in, in, in progress, mate. But it also means that we maybe get a wee hopefully, bit of... hopefully the chairman hasn't gave the, the other teams a wee uh, motivator, mate, not a wee nah, man. Nah, uh, jo- John's um John's interview after the game, you could see he was very happy and stuff and any of the wee dig at the towel, but I don't think it was really warranted. But, but uh, that... see, me honestly, Talbot are like the pinnacle, mate, at this grade, and the amount of stuff that they've won, mate, it's unbelievable, mate. So I think, I think it's a bit, a bit hasty to have a pop at them, mate. Uh, but see, at the end of the day, do you know what happens, mate? See, when a camera's put in front of your face and you're fully emotion, mate, you just want to leave, mate. And, I've known it myself, mate. How many times have I said things on here that I shouldn't have said? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you get a wee bit carried away, mate. But listen, we hope that they go and they do the business and, really and, and they get themselves into the Lowland League because we want to see your teams progress. Yep. They want to the Lowland League because I think that's pants. I want them to progress, but they need to, your teams need to get to the Lowland League first before they can get into the senior leagues. So let's hope that they can do it and then they can go and push next season and try and get into that. that uh, uh, if they get into Lone League, we'll maybe get into Darvo next year when they're playing Open Goal Broom Hill. And uh, we're getting that, that side very boy about a stick in that. Aye, I'm mate, not against a right side we'll, Darvo. We'll maybe see if we'll do a wee triangle tournament, mate, with PG and Dak, PG and Dak, Ashfield Football Club and that. Mate, <laughs> mate. Uh, we've got, we do have the finances for we it. We've got so. a couple of things in the pipeline, mate. So oh, people I know. Need to keep their ears, their, 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 their ears peeled. 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 Their ears I'm not there. <laughs> mate, we've we've been on for twenty minutes and we have hardly spoken about a game to. I know, mate. But I see, know. see in the league, I think that um, I think that the Talbot obviously be very disappointed in the league, but I think that the fans once the the kind of initial disappointment wears off, I don't think a lot of them will be that disappointed they never won the league this year. Well, they'll be disappointed they never won the league, but I don't think they'll be that disappointed that they're staying another year at least oh. in the in the West. There'll be, mate, there's better crowds, mate. There's bigger, there's big games and all that in, in, in the west of Scotland, and they've, they've got, they've still got their derbies and all that to look forward to next season. We, we come up and stuff like that, and the, the games against Pollock to win and not so. The, the fans will still, the, the good thing at Fatal, but they've still got two cup finals to go. They can still end up finishing the season, missing, missing out in the league title in the second last day of the season, and then go and win two cup. Going one two cup finals. I really hope that they go. I really hope that they go and beat Bonnie. They can oh, be brilliant. brilliant for the rest to, to to try and get one of the East in that way. But same time, I don't want to show any fingers, any um, favoritism, any teams in the cup final because you'll come man. It's a it's a fairy tale that you could have got there, oh. mate. So. You're, you're, you're hoping that they go and, and, and embrace the occasion and the free hat for Free hat, mate. It's free hat, mate. Aye, definitely. But same time, the Talbot could end up coming out the season with a double, and it's no, it's not a bad season. You can't, you can't win them all. Do you know what I mean? But oh, exactly. they, they, they've pushed all the way. They're a, they're a great side with the, the greatest manager probably. To, Manage your level ever, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's no. If I said they're they're going to bounce back stronger. The one thing about Tucker is he'll use that as his fuel. He go again in the summer. He'll probably rejig a few things and and, and go again. The Talbot have
kind of young players in that are maybe it's like obviously Tucker's had to build a couple of teams through his 15 year or whatever it is and this is a team that's maybe the start of their cycle and they'll get stronger in the next few years okay. um, but let's move on massive result at the other end of the table for me Rob Roy safe now absolutely they're, they're, they're safe now that's, 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 that's it officially safe that's it mate that's so, it we can catch them so that's that that's the Maxi I mean um, we've got our episode with Maxi that comes out on Wednesday and um, we had them in the studio on Thursday there. Um, yeah. uh, unbelievable, unbelievable yeah. work he's done. Um, been really... I think Kieran have been doing it to 10 men, they've missed a penalty, and then uh, the Rob Roy have missed a penalty, but to win the game 2-1, it doesn't matter how you do it. We've watched Maxi's interview after the game as well, and, and what a job, mate. What a job. Uh, he's worked wonders there. Top uh, manager. Done, done all the mate. stuff in the background, so it's well worth watching that episode on Wednesday. Is, it, it's a really, I was actually... I was really enjoyable that, that chat we had him and uh, good football was, chat with Maxi and Maxi's Maxi's been a top manager, top manager in in way the Rob Roy for this ten year now. So he, he, he's, he's an experienced manager as well. But the job he's done is incredible. The young players should be so proud of themselves. And then see when you look at it, I think actually if you got the league in front of you, I do. Are they like a point behind Trun or they're a point ahead of Trun or something? They are two points ahead of Trun. Trun have obviously finished up now, and Rob Roy have still got two games to go. Mate, it's scary, I think, how, and, 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 and they're not far off. They've, they've went past Beeve, they've went past who else are they? They were by the Benz. Um, they are currently a point behind the Meda. So there you um, go, right? We, we've never really mentioned the Meda, right? And then Trun, man, we were only talking a few weeks ago about Trun, how, how brilliant a season they've right. had, and, and, they, and they really have. Um, so now you talk about Rob Roy going to finish above him, mate. What, what does that say about what does that say about the job that Maxi and, and their players have done at Rob Roy? It's a, an absolute fantastic achievement. You look you look at it with Rob Roy, right? If results go their way, um they can finish tied fifth with co one. Scary, mate. That's Absolutely. ridiculous. If they what the what the season was looking like for them. Eight weeks ago, that is unbelievable how well they've done. I think, I think it's, it's brilliant, and now they can, now they can play with that wee bit more, bit of freedom, that pressure's half for the last couple of games as well, and and, and, and you never know, they might, they might finish a position or two, a position or two higher, and and, and then when they turn and they look at it, and they go to the semi final in the junior cup, and then they finish maybe seven, six, seven for eight from the league fan, and you're going, well done, what a brilliant season for Turkey Rob Roy. So. Amazing, well done. Can he praise him enough? Can he praise Maxi, the backroom staff, Chris McFadden, and that and all, and, and the boys there? Amazing, mate. What a result. What a wee bit. Glenn Kerner and a bit of bother, isn't he? Well, looking at that, the new. So that's Cumberland Old. Um, after losing to Pollock yesterday, officially relegated. Um, they can only finish on 45 points, which isn't enough to get them at the bottom six. Um, so that's five at the five at the six or seven that can go down are already gone. Bonnet are gone, Blantyre, Cumberland, Rossville, Coburn, they're all gone. Glen Afton are sitting on 43 points with five games to go. So they're in a they're in a pretty good position considering the form they're in as well. Largs with three games to go are sitting on 46 points. Uh, Glencairn with one game to go are sitting on 49. Um B, I'm actually I'm gonna include Beath in this as well. Um Beath are sitting uh, with 51 points um, with two games to go. I think they'll, they'll be safe, but I'll put them in that wee bracket. So you're looking at, basically, if Largs win their games left, they can finish on 57 points. Mm-hmm. Um, Glen Afton can finish on 58, and Glen Cairn can finish on 52. Beef play come along Wednesday night, mate, which is a big game. Mm-hmm. See, the thing is, I think B they'll be all right, but they've got themselves in a sticky situation. Glen Cairn, I don't know if Glen Cairn will stay up now. I think that uh, the, the form that Largs and Glen Afton are in, I can't well, see. I, I had no lie that Glen Cairn's last game is a way to pull up, isn't it? That's is it? Ah, it's a way to pull up. But listen, when you're scrapping, when you're scrapping for 
Scrapping for every point and all that. And, and what Glen Kern have shown is that they have pulled a few results out the bag when you, when you maybe least expect them to. So they're probably capable in their day of going and getting a result. But it's just what happens when about them because the other teams are looking good at pick, for picking up points. But uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a nervy, it'll be a nervy last few weeks. With it. They'll just need to win their game. And then hope, hope that that will be enough. But um, it'll be nervy, especially with the other games getting played. Well, it's a, as a shame we've spoken about it before, obviously, we've caused so many and get relegated. I mean, you look at Glentian, right? They're sitting on 49 points for 37 games. So, in a normal season, when only two or three go down, you're like, that's a pretty solid season, Glentian. I've had them you know, just below mid table. You're like, that's, a, that's as good as it should be for them because they don't have the finances, uh, some of the other clubs. They're a club that, for me, forty nine points is a is a pretty mm-hmm. solid season as well. I, I think that I think that this season is it's crazy to think that you can get fifty point neither off the fifty point mark and still get relegated. Do you know what I mean? It'll, it'll ne- that the likes of that will never be never be seen again. Oh. Um, so I do really feel for the teams. Do you know what I mean? Especially when you get to the last couple of games and you're sitting at a points total like that and and it might not be enough no. because you've won you've won your fair share of games and you've took your you've took your fair share of points, so it's not as if you're, 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 you're getting beat every week and you go, I we deserve that. You're, you're winning near enough half of your games and you're still getting relegated, so it's, that, it's, a, bitter, it's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's one that everybody was aware of before, yeah. before, the, before the season started, and and it's just it just shows you how good the league is. It's just because teams beat each other all the time that Aye. there's that there's that there's that many in the pack now that could, there's still a few in the pack that could that could get in, mate. So it's a nervy few weeks for a few teams. Definitely, mate. Um, just to touch quickly on the remaining games, Talbot beating Glen Afton, which was a big one for mm-hmm. Glen Afton. I'd I said I had them as a draw. I thought Glen Afton might have picked it because Talbot knew that it was all but done. Mm-hmm. Um. And then you get Pollock can buy come on all two one. Still third for Pollock, and it actually right, secured two. third place. So that's the um, finish. Well, they've got seventy five points. Clyde Banker on seventy one. Both got a game left, so that's it sorted for them. Um, and the Meda, that was a good result for them against mm-hmm. June. Um, Cal man in a matcha. Was he? That's because Maxie went down to watch the game. He <laughs> took young. Yeah, fuck yeah. He took young Freddie doing it, and I think that like Cal got a bit of inspiration. Maybe he looks like he had a decent game, put one in the plate, um, and and had and had a de- decent game. But that's a good result for that's a good result for Meda as well. Aye, so as, as, um, moving on to Conference A, Muir Cup two, Arthur three shots, four Luger nil, Arthurly, an invincible season, mate. Thirty games played, right. one twenty eight, drew two, lost none, scored one hundred and nine. Conceded 29, 86 Frightening. points, but a possible 90. Frightening, mate. I don't ever remember. Scary good, mate. Aye, mate. I, I don't ever remember a team having a record that good in uh, the juniors. I, unbelievable, good. man. Scary good. I mean, that's Scary Andy, Andy and Palmer and all that. What a job they've done. Job. They'll add. They'll add for next season as well. Um, so, aye. Unbelievable season for them. Really well done. Mm-hmm. I think oh, still in the Kelly Pie as well, so yeah, maybe a cup, a cup in there. They've got, they've got to have lost the least amount of games because even the cup competitions have lost in. They've they've lost less games than anybody, anybody else this season. It's unbelievable for them. Mm-hmm. I think that I think that everybody there's been been remarkable, man. To go to go through a season at any level and no lose a game, I think, but is unreal. Um, especially the amount of games. It's not as if it's like. An eighteen game season, man. It's thirty game season. It's a long. It's a lot of games. It's a lot of tough games. You need to deal with a lot of adversities in that time. Um, so for everybody, we are fully, man. That's unbelievable. You need to grind. What there'll be grinders in there where they've had to, they've had to scrap it out, and then there's ones that have been really convincing, and and they've done amazing, and they deserve amazing credit because it's not just sweet winning the league and getting back into the top league. It's the way they've done it. Because they've had to beat some good teams in that league. They've had shots. And, and we were talking about how close shots were. Now they end up when you look at the league table finishing. It's going to be about 19, 15, 19 points just now. 19 in the so will be like 16 because shots have got a game left, haven't they? So if shots won that. They've got left. So for them to win that league, probably with at least 16 points and no loss of a game, it's like testament to how, how frightening they've been. Scary good. Players have been, the players have been outstanding. 
no better way to win it. Invincible season. They boys can live as legends now. Anytime they go back down to that place, whether they're retired or no, they can always say that they were one of the invincible champions, mate. Oh. There's no, no better feeling. They'll be swaggering about that place like Conor McGregor, mate. Uh-huh. Not me. I know, it's incredible. Well done to them. Well done to them all. Well done to all the boys. And yeah. I, 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 don't know, I think he's having to wrap it, mate. You know? Is he? Ah, he makes good some free kick, mate. I saw it you too, wasn't it? But I'm in, mate. Lovely, mate. He's got lovely technique anyway, mate. So it was, a, it was a great goal. But I think he's struggling with injuries, mate. And he's, he's up and I'm not mean. So I think he's having hang, to hang up the boots. So wish him all the best as well. Because that's never good to see somebody so young having to stop playing, mate. But well done to them. And, and, and it's good to see them in the top league again next year. And I'm sure there'll be some interesting battles for them next year. Not I mean? Definitely. Fans that the fans like, mate. And good. it's good, good to good have them back. Good to have, them back. Right, good good to to have, have that big club back. back. Um, shots for now against Luger. Game that means nothing. Aye. Um, shots just finishing. Um, that was Luger's last game of the season. It's not been a good year for them. But we've spoken about it many times. There's going to be in a league next year where they'll be competitive. Yeah, you also look to build, try and push for the um, for the first division yeah. next season. Um, well, since we're in conference, a, we'll mention the departure of Ross Wilson for um, for Mary Hill, which make which looks like he's going to go to Peter's Hill. Um, it's a chat in it. It's aye, really that's what it looks like, and I tell you what, there's a lot of gossip going about in there. There's a lot yeah. of because you've got what? What, what you got, you've got the rock job, yep. you've got the dark cairn job, you get the peasy job, you get yep. the Mary Hill job. What else is gone? Is that it? Um, aye, that's it. Aye, I think so. Hunters, Hunters there for, for managers if they want to mate. move about in that. <laughs> and you know what the rumour was like, mate, the old junior football man. It's, uh, it's crazy, it's crazy, but... You know, you hear your ones that you think you think's going to get. Ah, you can, you're hearing Ross maybe getting the Peter's Hill job, and, and if he gets the job, then it's a great appointment for them because he's he's had a really good year with Mary Hill, and he's a he's a good manager, and and so it would be a great appointment for them. So we need to well, just wait and see what happens. But then it's a good job for somebody to get with Mary Hill. Mary Hill are a big club with a lot of tradition there. And, Mary Hill's always a great place to go and play, man. The way the park is and that as well. But I don't know, mate. That's a wee Andy Cameron to Mary Hill. You've got Ross going to Mary Hill. You've got Ross going to Peasy. Then you've got Mick Dunlop going to Gart Cairn. Exactly, what I was about to say. Right, Mick going to Gart Cairn. Supposed to be announced tomorrow or Tuesday. I suppose for everybody listening, it'll be today or tomorrow. Um, Aye, so Mick's going to that, his first job, I think, in management, after being with Gorms. It's all here saying it, mate, so you just need to wait and see him, like, the clubs do their business, mate. But, listen, as is, 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 is neutrals, mate, you know what it's like, yeah, it's football, mate, everybody loves to talk, everybody loves to gossip, so we just need to wait and see what happens, but they are, they are the names that have been kind yeah. of thrown out of it. Um, and one game left, Conference C, this Conference B is all wrapped up. Conference C, um, East Kilbride 2, Vela Clyde 3. Uh, quite a strong finish to the season for Vela Clyde after a yeah. really, really bad start. Um, yeah. that picked up some points, Ali. East Kilbride, we mentioned it last week, a young side who I think will, they'll they'll improve over the next couple of years if they can keep all the, the young boys together as well. Yeah. Not a great deal to say about that. Yeah, like a hangry game, done. and it's like a dead game, but for Vela Clyde to win it, and that's their game's finished now, isn't it? It's everybody done in that league. So win, mate. It's always good, mate, to finish the last game of the season with a win, and, and, and then they always just start focusing on pre-season and that, so, nah, no, no much to report. Nah, and do you know, it's quite sad, because that's, um, this might be the last round-up of the season, to be fair, um, and I'm hanging like a big bag of jobby as well, um, nah. because in the Premier League, Looking at it just now, we'll maybe we'll maybe get one more week out of the Premier League because there's still a few games to be played. Um, going to mention the league setup for next year, as I know that a lot of people are very interested. I won't, uh, out of respect for the clubs who are applying to the league, I know of five teams who are applying. I won't say who, um, just because I, I respect to them and let let the process go and. See how it goes with him. So we're looking at next year. 
16 team Premier League, first division, second division, third division might have more as far as I'm led to believe. And I think we could potentially be looking at a 13 team division four for next season. Um, yeah, I'll make much better. So we're yeah, looking at a, a Renfrewshire club possibly coming in who will improve the, the level of division four, very good side. Um, a team from Ayrshire, team for the East End. I can't remember what other team, uh, the other two teams are for, but East you're look- Dumbartonshire. Dumbartonshire, sorry. East um, Dumbartonshire. Mm-hmm. That's right, that's right. My apologies. Um, another good side, another, another good club. Um, so we're looking at that division four will be a lot stronger next year, uh, which is good, which is good because it's the eight teams. Pish, to be honest, isn't it? It's no... It's, Aye, a, wee, a wee injection in a couple of a few more teams and gain teams the opportunity and, 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 and teams have shown that they can add a lot of quality and value to it, do you know what I mean? And it'll be a good division as well. No, so, no I'm, I, I'm, I'm, for, I'm for that division getting getting added a bit of extra quality in it. So that, if Darvo, if they five teams get in and Darvo get promoted then the West will be at 71 teams, I think, next year. So, more teams for us to go and cover, more people for us to speak to and games to see, so that's good news. But we'll call it there. Call it there tonight. Um, I'm just going to go and take my clothes off and lie in the the, uh, the shower like Jim Carrey and uh, Ace Ventura and just greet to myself after how bad I feel. See, is it that bad, mate? <laughs> it's that bad, man. It's horrible. Oh, but wow, mate. Thanks, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, <laughs> hopefully, we can have another roundup next week. Season's nearly done. I see. Still, still got plenty to go. Well done to all the winners. Yep, well done. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep doing a little bit as well. We'll try and do our best as, as we keep doing, but we'll catch up soon, Trips. Yep, we've got... Um, Got a couple of wee things coming to us as well. A wee announcement coming soon. Potentially a couple of cup finals to cover vlogs at. You know what I mean? Potentially so... a new haircut with that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look like Harry for Home Alone now. Oh, I swear. <laughs> Harry! Why are you dressed like a chicken, Harry? <laughs> right, everybody. Harry! Harry! Harry. 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 Gonna get Joel to put on the face, mate. That's Marvel, isn't it? That's yeah. Marvel. That's the sound of a tool chest falling down the stairs. No, no far away, by the way. Oh, mate, Joel must be loving that. Oh, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking hating it, mate. <laughs> When's hating the new hair coming? ASAP, mate. <laughs> How soon ASAP. are we talking? What do you think? After seeing a malfunction on Twitter, mate, I've got the heebie jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, Big Martin McGuire Don't fuck it Don't I, hang no, it don't don't put, Everybody's seen it anyway Don't put it there mate That's Absolutely Horrible It's given me the heebies It's given me the heebies But hopefully mate They can get a nail gun Or a staple gun Mate A staple <laughs> mind them, mate So it doesn't go anywhere Not me Brilliant man Right everybody Have hey. a good week Thanks for watching Catch you later, later. Mate. Bye.